So really the most important thing when creating a mobile strategy, uh, there's the backend infrastructure, which I would absolutely tackle first. Uh, without a backend infrastructure, you know, you can't roll out thousands and thousands of mobile devices. They have to actually hook up to something. And what I mean by that is that that something is, hence, a wireless network. Think about it. So when you're in the four walls of a building, what are you doing with your mobile device? You're hooking up to a wireless network. And then from there, you're actually uh, pulling any type of applications or data from there. So then that data has to sit somewhere, so usually in the data center. So uh, the infrastructure is really important. So when building a mobile strategy, A, look at your infrastructure. Make sure it's sound, complete, uh, can support uh, you know, multiple, multiple devices uh, per person and into the thousands of devices. Uh, from there, I would actually look at the applications. Um, again, I've, you know, I've always said this, it's all about the apps. Uh, those mobile devices that we have in our hands today, uh, sort of considered dumb devices until you really have the appropriate applications. So, and what I mean by the appropriate applications, it's, it's important to understand how to deliver those applications safely and securely. Uh, that could be from developing a, a, an app strategy from how are we going to push out those mobile apps, how are we going to test those apps, how are we going to bring back those apps, update those apps, is it going to be an internal app store, an external app store? So many considerations there. Uh, so something that uh, absolutely should be looked at when developing a mobile strategy. Uh, the devices themselves, uh, yeah, you know that that's uh, that's sort of key. Everyone has their favorites, whether it's Apple or Samsung devices or HTC or Motorola. Uh, it doesn't really matter in the long run, but uh, typically when you look at devices, we want to make sure that the device itself is managed. That boils down to uh, simply looking at an EMM platform. So EMM being Enterprise Mobility Management, very hot these days, a uh, lot of uh, choices out there, uh, some better than others, but for the most part, they all accomplish the same thing, which is actually securing the device. So from the device itself, uh, then we kind of move on over to the content. Uh, that's typically called Enterprise File Sync and Share. Very important in, in developing a mobile strategy. Um, typically these days, whether you're a financial institution, uh, a government, uh, could be a law firm, or even retail, we're all looking for a way to safely and securely access content on our mobile devices. Uh, let's just call it a secure Dropbox, if you will. Everyone's familiar with the term Dropbox. So that's something that we really have to plan out, uh, de de delivering that content safely and securely to mobile devices, uh, and then of course, uh, encrypting that content, that is. So enterprise file sync and share, extremely hot, uh, very much needed. I can bet you that every organization out there has a need for some type of enterprise file sync and share application so they can receive that content.